Hello and welcome. Welcome to Worship with Caledonia Presbyterian Church. My name is Pastor Janice Boyle and it really is a privilege and a blessing to have you join us across time and space. Where we continue to gather in person here in the cool of our upper room during the summer months, but also across the digital airwaves as it were. So I consider myself blessed that you're here. Over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to experiment in worship, thinking outside the box, not your traditional worship services per se. And as such, I invite you to settle in. Settle in and be aware of how you're feeling right here, right now. We're going to do a practice a little later called the Lectio Divina, because the kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of heaven is with us. And I want you to connect with the Holy Spirit in our worship time together. So settle in. And we're going to play a piece of music here. It's actually a Tizé chant. Come, let us bow down. So our call to worship is, come, let us bow down. Come and bend your knee here before the Lord, our maker. Hearken to God's voice. Harden not your hearts, for he is our help. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's prepare to worship together. So now I'll invite you to pray with us. Please join your hearts with mine and let's pray. Gracious and generous God, we gather here with grateful hearts, amazed by the abundance in your creation, the abundance to share in food and friendship, fellowship and faithfulness. We gather with hopeful hearts, seeking the kingdom here and now. Your love is both mysterious and miraculous with the power to transform these times that can be overwhelming. By the power of your spirit, move among us here in our worship. Open our hearts and minds to new experiences. Open before us the new possibilities that you create for us. In Christ, we lift up our hearts to the Lord. Gracious and generous God, we gather, sometimes weekly, sometimes daily, sometimes throughout the day, to be fed by your love, trusting that you will embrace us. Yet we confess, there are times that we are not nearly so generous with our own love. Sometimes we're suspicious of others. Sometimes we're critical and we criticize. Rarely even questioning our own motivations. Forgive us, Lord. We're sorry. Open our eyes, our hearts, and our minds so that we may see and live in your kingdom in the here and now. Forgive us, O oh God, for things we've done and for the things we haven't. We lay it all at the foot of the cross and humbly ask for your mercy. In the powerful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 
My friends, here I am, and I get to tell you once again that God loves me. You can read about it over and over again through scripture. In the letter to the Ephesians, Paul declares that Christ dwells in our hearts through faith, through faith. That we are rooted and grounded in love and that the forgiveness that Christ offers is a gift freely given. You are a beloved child of God. Receive that love. Receive that forgiveness. God is not mad at you and just desires a relationship with you. Rest in that knowledge and assurance. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. And so here we are once again, and we're going to turn to the Gospel of Luke. Um, Luke, actually, chapter 17. Jesus has continued to teach and preach and call out. And we're just going to take a look at a couple of verses there. And so as we do, we pray, O oh Holy Spirit, open our hearts, open our minds, open our lives. Be with us. Be with us in this place that we may be transformed, that we may be present in the kingdom of God in the here and now. Amen. And so I'd like you to listen. Read along if you'd like. Listen. Luke 17, starting at verse 20. Once, on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The kingdom of God is not something that can be observed. Nor will people say, Here it is. Or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. This is the living word. Thanks be to God. And so I share with you today um, a devotion, actually, that came across my desk from Richard Rohr. Um, we start our, our time together here with many of his words as we move into a contemplative worship. And so Richard Rohr asks, when does the kingdom of heaven come to earth? It arrives the moment our minds and hearts are open to receive it. Jesus taught that the kingdom, the kingdom is here and now, present in your hearts. The Messiah challenged us to step out of our life experience and contemplate the fullness of the kingdom of heaven on the earth right now. The kingdom of heaven is not somewhere or some place that's waiting for us in the future. It's here now. At this moment, the kingdom of heaven is waiting for release. Waiting for release in the silence of your heart. May we seek and find it. So many people look for it in all different places, but don't even know where to look. We discover it when we realize that we don't have to keep seeking for it, especially in the world. We seek the world and the craving what the world appears to offer. When we realize that we are separated by God from our thoughts and our experiences. The kingdom of heaven is revealed to us when we're ready to ask for it and when we desire it more than anything else. It comes when we no longer resist. The kingdom of heaven comes when we give up our own control and turn it over to Christ. And so we have the opportunity to experience the kingdom of heaven in the here and now, in every moment, and share God's presence, God's love. Every time we pray, we experience God. Heaven comes every time we love. 
our brothers and sisters, he writes. Heaven comes, Richard Gore continues, when we are at peace with our circumstances in life. Heaven comes every moment we dwell in the presence of God. When we dwell in the presence of God, the kingdom of heaven is here and now. It's neither in the past nor in the future as Christ said to us and to them in the Gospel of Luke, the kingdom of God is in your midst. And in some translations, the kingdom of God is within you. And so we're going to experiment a little bit and shift our worship. Step out of the box, as it were, as we experience. I invite you to experience the kingdom of heaven. And we're going to do it with a method called the Lectio Divina. The Lectio Divina gives us a chance to be deliberate in practicing the pause, to chew on the word. In Lectio Divina, we read, we meditate, we pray, and we contemplate. Reading is the food, the meditation is the chewing, prayer is enjoying the flavor, and the contemplation is the nourishment. And so I invite you to pause, and we're going to go back to that scripture once again and use those two verses in our Lectio Divina. The verses will be read. We'll have some deliberate space for silence. Actually, we're going to use the Gospel of John. Let's use the Gospel of John. Let's read, pause, pray, and contemplate. From the Gospel of John, where Jesus says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. So we're going to read that passage again. So breathe. Allow yourself to be present. Allow yourself to be open. Listen again for a word or a phrase that resonates with you in this passage. Do not let your hearts be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? 
Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. So now, we meditate. I want you to think about that word or phrase that touched your heart. What is God saying to you in this passage? Allow that word or phrase or even the entire passage to connect with your life in the here and the now. Breathe in and out. And now we pray with the passage. Lift your mind and your heart to God. Be present. Feel your emotions. Pray for yourself. And pray for others. Our final stage allows us to be present. We've heard the passage. We've meditated. Now let's contemplate. Go back to that word or phrase. Be mindful of it. Be still. Try not to think of anything else. Think of your word or phrase as you breathe in and out. And if a thought or a feeling does happen to come to the surface, don't cling to it. Just acknowledge it. Thank God for it. And then perhaps place it in an imaginary canoe and let it float away as you come back to be still. Return to your calm state of being. We don't have to try to achieve anything in this silence or silent prayer. Just rest God's presence. Just be. Like a sunflower. Following the sun. Just be. the water that flows. Just be.
this great miracle. You offer us the kingdom of heaven right here, right now. We give you thanks for all the ways in which we've tasted your abundance and your love. We give you thanks for all the ways in which you bless us in friendship and fellowship, food on our tables, safety on our streets, and even amidst these everyday satisfactions, Lord, keep us mindful of those who lack the necessities of life those who find each day unpredictable and anxious. In the unrest around us, call out to us. Come near to us, Lord. Come near to us. Lord, may we not harden our hearts as we witness so much divisiveness and hatred across the world, violence, war and upheaval in the unrest around us, call out to us, come near to us. In our communities and churches and even families, we witness uncertainty about the future. Lord, give wisdom to leaders. Grant compassion. In our own lives and the lives of so many others, we see depression and anger, anxiety and despair. Lord, grant us your peace. May we rest in the calm assurance of your love. May we experience the kingdom in the here and the now. Come near to us, Holy Spirit. We hold before you the hard places and the soft spaces, the people and places in need, in need of your healing. Come, Holy Spirit, come. In the face of all that which may trouble us, we thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love, for your faithful presence, the calm center we can claim in Jesus' name. And so we offer the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 I thank you again for joining us across time and space. Again, you can reach me here at the church or online. I can be reached at pastorjanisdoyle at gmail.com or caledonia.presbyterian at gmail.com. And our phone number here at the church is 905-765-4524. May you 
be blessed in all that you do. As we go forth from this place, this space, may the Spirit bring you growth and connection. May God grant you wisdom and guide your steps. And may Jesus the Christ be your friend and your Savior and the source of everything you need to live and live abundantly and to experience that kingdom of heaven in the here and the now. As you go, go in peace, go in hope, but above all things, go in love. Amen.